What I will present you is uh, uh, an experiment uh, I uh, made uh, together with Partsec as I am uh, a consultant in uh, R&D projects and also a, a scientific science writer and science journalist. Uh, the uh, object uh, of this experimentation was uh, uh, to uh, verify which, is the w which was the effect of the overpressure on the uh, extraction and uh, on the maceration of uh, uh, Sangiovese. And uh, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Just to uh, remind something, because as uh, uh, we are speaking about uh, uh, extraction, and uh, the goals of extraction uh, uh, are uh, to uh, have the better from uh, uh, the uh, noble content uh, of the skin grapes. So uh, the goals are uh, to extract from the skins more uh, pro and uh, and uh, uh, the soft and structured tannins, and uh, uh, more color that are uh, the anthocyanins. And uh, the goals are also to reduce and to extract as minimums uh, as minimum as we can, uh, the uh, proanthocyanidins and the uh, compounds with the vegetable, vegetal and uh, green and bitter uh, aroma that are the tannins uh, mostly content uh, uh, in uh, uh, the seeds and also uh, sometimes uh, in, the in the skins where uh, when the, uh, the grape is not perfectly uh, ripened. And uh, it is believed that uh, uh, the extraction uh, is uh, uh, favored by the mixing process, as uh, uh, Leo Forte already uh, told, uh, because during the maceration, the mixing project pr uh, process uh, uh, g gives better uh, contact uh, for uh, the liquid and the solid phase uh, and favors uh, uh, the extraction and the uh, uh, diffusion uh, uh, of uh, the content of the uh, uh, skins. And uh, uh, for uh, having to for uh, uh, reached goals, we, uh, we already said, uh, we have uh, uh, several uh, tools, and this is uh, uh, the uh, toolbox we, we have. And in the toolbox are uh, all the uh, different uh, uh, maturation and extraction uh, practices. So pumping overs and the punching and the uh, uh, lestage and so on. And uh, uh, we also can uh, uh, play with the temperature and uh, with the uh, frequency of the operations and uh, uh, with the duration of the uh, maceration itself. And uh, we also can uh, uh, choose uh, the uh, operations and the uh, extraction uh, techniques that uh, are considered to be soft and not to, uh, to um, disrupt too much the skin of the grape uh, and uh, not to produce too much lees uh, as the lees uh, uh, risk to uh, absorb what we have, uh, uh, what we have extracted. And uh, other, other uh, goals, uh, other tools, uh, are the ones that permit us uh, uh, to uh, stabilize what we have extracted. And so uh, the oxygen uh, uh, mostly uh, is used uh, uh, from uh, the end of the fermentation to uh, stabilize the color and the tannins we have extracted and uh, uh, to uh, favor uh, a long uh, and uh, uh, a long shelf life and a long maturation for the wine. One of the more ancient and traditional techniques uh, to facilitate the extraction of the red grapes uh, in a qualitative way ever developed in the enology history is, is the submerged cap uh, uh, vinification. The submerged cap vinification consists mostly uh, simply in a, a, a grid uh, that is uh, put inside uh, uh, the tank uh, and uh, that keeps uh, uh, the uh, pomace and the cap uh, uh, under the surface of the liquid. In this way, uh, the uh, pomace doesn't have uh, any contact with the air and uh, uh, the... Sorry. Mm. You have not seen everything. Sorry. OK. OK. 
okay, we are here. And uh, the pumice is, uh, uh, the, uh, is kept under the surface uh, of uh, uh, the liquid and uh, uh, the uh, movement uh, of the liquid uh, is uh, uh, produced by the CO2 uh, of the fermentation and uh, uh, is supposed to uh, pass uh, uh, through uh, the pumice. Uh, there are uh, some disadvantages of this uh, uh, technique. Uh, the first is uh, uh, the presence of the grid in itself, uh, that is inside the tank, uh, and it is uh, 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 an obstacle for other operations, uh, also the drawing off, for example. And uh, uh, the other is that the cap is not so uh, softly uh, uh, soft uh, under the grid, and it is uh, uh, very uh, compacted. Uh, and so uh, the uh, liquid uh, doesn't pass uh, so much uh, uh, through uh, the, the pomace and the cap, and it is necessary, uh, usually it is necessary to uh, disrupt the cap uh, with other, co what other operations, for example, the lestage. So to combine uh, the submerged cap uh, uh, vinification with other operation. Uh, the, uh, The evolution, the uh, evolution of uh, the uh, submerged cap uh, can be considered the isobaric ferm uh, fermentation tanks. And uh, uh, these are obtained uh, with the overpressure that uh, is produced by the fermentation uh, and the CO2. And uh, in this way, uh, the uh, cap is uh, uh, kept uh, under uh, the liquid or uh, quite submerged and uh, uh, remains quite soft. And uh, uh, with the isobaric vinification and the particular tanks, uh, uh, Leo Fort already uh, talked about them, uh, is it possible to uh, have uh, other functions, uh, for example, to release the pressure in, uh, uh, instantaneously and uh, uh, to uh, bring back uh, uh, the pressure developed uh, to the atmospheric pressure and uh, uh, have uh, a release of uh, uh, CO2 that was, uh, uh, it was, uh, uh, um, that becomes uh, uh, gases, uh, sorry. And uh, uh, releasing the pressure in this uh, way, uh, the, it, it forms uh, a, a big movement uh, of liquid uh, that uh, uh, disrupts uh, instantaneously the cap and uh, uh, wet it from, uh, from the back. And uh, another? Another way are uh, the uh, tanks, uh, like uh, the nectar tanks, uh, where the, uh, this disrupting uh, made from uh, the release of the uh, pressure can be associated uh, to uh, the uh, presence uh, of a basin uh, uh, that is uh, uh, filled uh, from the uh, pressure itself, because uh, when it is in pressure, when it is in pressure, you can uh, uh, fill this tank uh, that is in the upper side, and uh, uh, if, if when you release the pressure, uh, this valve can open and uh, uh, to the uh, pressure, that like uh, a sparkling bottle, you can uh, add an irrigation of the cap uh, uh, from the uh, fr from the upper the upper side, and these are. Uh, the uh, tanks that were uh, specifically uh, projected uh, for uh, the uh, maceration and to obtain a better mixing for, for the pomace uh, and the liquid part. But uh, the colleagues from Partec uh, had also another system that works uh, in uh, uh, overpressure and uh, it was not developed uh, uh, specifically for uh, maceration of red grapes, but uh, uh, there were uh, some uh, uh, users that said that uh, uh, they had better uh, results also in the vinification of uh, grapes. And this is uh, the ADCF uh, system. The ADCF system uh, is a system uh, developed uh, for the monitoring in, in uh, uh, continuous and in real time of the fermentation. Uh, it is uh, uh, realized in a closed tank 
and uh, the uh, difference of, uh, uh, of pressure that are developed that are related to the uh, CO2 that is produced and through an algorithm uh, it is related to the, cons uh, the co uh, consume of the uh, sugars uh, and the production of the alcohol. So this system is uh, uh, developed and projected to have uh, uh, a kinetic uh, of uh, uh, the fermentation itself. But uh, it works uh, in pressure. There is a valve and uh, there is a threshold of the pressure. And uh, in, uh, uh, when the threshold is uh, uh, reached, uh, it releases uh, and the effect uh, is that, uh, 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 that we had seen for uh, the overpressure tanks. So uh, there is a movement uh, of the mast that uh, when you use it in uh, uh, the red grapes, uh, uh, disrupts uh, and wet all the cap. And uh, the users of the CD DCF, as I said, uh, uh, had reported that in the tanks when, where they, ha they were monitoring the fermentation with this system, they also had uh, uh, some uh, uh, results uh, in uh, extraction of color and uh, of tannins. And uh, uh, for this reason, we decided to, uh, to make an experimentation uh, an experimental trial uh, and uh, uh, to uh, in a uh, controlled uh, uh, way. And uh, is, uh, uh, the, the experimental trial was made, I, I say you a uh, couple of words about uh, the structure, was made uh, in, uh, was realized in the Cantina Tuscania. That is uh, uh, an experimental custom and custom cellar and uh, uh, it was born for a big uh, uh, research project. And uh, uh, since a few years, it is used for experimental projects and also for custom uh, uh, vinification. So uh, there are uh, uh, tanks from 100 liters to 10,000 liters, and uh, uh, they are all equipped with all the controls, uh, in particular the uh, 1,000 liters uh, uh, tanks are completely equipped with, sorry, with the control uh, of uh, uh, all the, uh, the uh, and all the automation uh, uh, that are possible uh, as uh, temperature control, pumping overs, ADCF, and mi micro and micro oxygenation, and uh, uh, everything is managed by the CIN 5000 by Parsec. And in this way, experimental project is possible to reproduce all that happens uh, in the industrial size because they are uh, 10 hectoliters tanks and uh, uh, is possible also to uh, have the control of all the factors and parameters that can influence the trial and for the first year for the first year that was 2015 we uh, realized a, a very simple uh, trial uh, it was a preliminary trial uh, with the uh, grape uh, uh, Montepulciano, we only uh, filled uh, three tanks. Uh, one was managed with uh, pumping overs only, and uh, uh, the other two had uh, applied also the ADCF system and uh, uh, with, uh, uh, with the same pressure, uh, the two, but they, we applied a, a different program of pumping overs. One was the same of the control and the other was a, 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 a more frequent uh, pumping over program and that we, because we wanted to see if there was an interaction between uh, the uh, overpressure and uh, uh, the uh, number of uh, the program of the pumping overs and the first results were these and uh, uh, we had uh, we realized that there was an effect and uh, it was worth it to uh, go in deep of this uh, uh, effect and uh, uh, the, the first results is that uh, uh, with the ADCF uh, there is a color, better color intensity and better, and better extraction of antigens and also a better extraction of polyphenols. And also we realized that with Montepulciano grapes uh, the number of pumping overs uh, didn't work uh, uh, so much. But as I said, it was worth it to go in deep. And so uh, in uh, 2016, uh, we uh, re 
realize the more complex and uh, circulated experiment. And in this case, we choose Sangiovese grape that, uh, uh, for those who doesn't know it, uh, is a, uh, a, a grape that uh, has uh, some specificities and critical issues much more than Montepulciano. Uh, mostly because of uh, uh, the extraction of the color and, the, and the, the, the quality of the tannins. And the goals of the trial was to answer to these two questions uh, that are how overpressure and CO2 released, obtained uh, by the ADCF uh, uh, system uh, act uh, on the polyphenol and on the color extraction in the wine making in, in on Sangiovese grapes. And also we wanted to see if uh, uh, in some cases uh, it was necessary to uh, apply also the, over the pumping overts uh, on uh, uh, the, the uh, during the extraction or if uh, in some uh, uh, moments of the extraction it, was, it could be uh, enough uh, to make uh, uh, only uh, the, the pressure and uh, the release of the pressure with the, uh, the uh, ADCF system. And this is something about uh, the experimental trial. We uh, had uh, four tons of Sangiovese grapes. We harvested it uh, in a randomized way and we randomized the mass directly in the vineyard not to be influenced by the difference of the uh, grape coming from different parts of the vineyards. And uh, uh, we filled eight tanks with 850 kilos of uh, uh, grape each tank. And uh, uh, all the factors that it did, didn't was uh, uh, wasn't uh, 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 directly uh, involved in the trial were uh, kept uh, uh, the same for all the trials. And the temperature of fermentation was of 27 degrees, and uh, uh, the macro oxygenation was made for the fermentation uh, aims. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, the fermentation reached the uh, maximum of the velocity really re that we could do it because uh, we had the, the uh, DC DCF, so we, we had the cyanetic of the fermentation uh, and uh, uh, with 10 milligram per liter of oxygen. And The, uh, uh, the extraction was made with pumping overts uh, uh, that uh, in, the, uh, in the winery is uh, realized with an irrigation uh, on each tank with a, a Chinese hat. I hope uh, the Chinese hat uh, is the right uh, word in English. It and uh, uh, the uh, and added uh, regarding to the uh, uh, experimental uh, plan uh, with uh, the effect of CO2 and uh, the gassing. This is the experimental trial, experimental design. So we. We had two controls, each thesis was repeated twice, and uh, uh, we had two uh, controls, controls with only pumping overts, uh, and uh, one, only one thesis B, because it was the unfortunate one. And uh, uh, with the ADCF applied with a threshold of pressure of 150 millibars, uh, added with pumping overts, and uh, uh, the thesis C with the two uh, thesis with uh, uh, 250 uh, millibars uh, added with pumping overs, and the last was uh, uh, the threshold of pressure was of 320 uh, millibar, uh, and uh, the pumping overs were applied only in the first two days uh, just to homogenize the mass. And uh, in the central phase of the fermentation and of the maceration, we didn't make any pumping overs, and uh, uh, at when the fermentation stopped, uh, we uh, started to make one pumping over just to uh, wet the cup. And 
for the contract, uh, we choose uh, the parameters uh, uh, of the uh, Australian Wine Research Institute, uh, included in the wine cloud, and the parameters uh, are uh, the total phenols, total pigments, and tannins uh, uh, during uh, the maturation, uh, and uh, after the uh, drawing off, uh, and also after the uh, malolactic fermentation, the antigens were uh, mm, separated uh, in uh, uh, free antigens uh, and pigmented tannins. And uh, uh, we choose this method because uh, it uh, uh, allowed us, uh, it is a, a web-based uh, uh, platform and uh, uh, the analysis can be uh, uh, uploaded on a website uh, uh, and uh, uh, it, is, it allows to uh, to put it in a big database of uh, uh, samples that are similar to ours uh, and to compare it uh, in the population, uh, in this case of the San Giovese of 2016, and see if we had uh, uh, a better results uh, uh, with the technique applied, uh, we are going to see that. So we, we could choose, uh, we, could cho we could do uh, some uh, uh, benchmarking uh, analysis with it. And these are the curves, so this is not the objective of the, the curve but the, of the trial, but these are the curves of the uh, DCF. So uh, it uh, says how the fermentation uh, went uh, in uh, uh, our tanks. Uh, so this is one of the thesis uh, B, and this is thesis C, and this is uh, thesis D, all the fermentations went uh, uh, to uh, the end and to uh, and completed the consume uh, of the uh, sugars uh, and in about 10 days uh, uh, they all, uh, everyone uh, ended the fermentation and the maceration lasted for 12 days uh, after that we uh, we made the drawing off and And these are the extraction kinetics uh, with the medium values. Uh, and uh, uh, for the total phenols, what we can observe uh, is that in the control thesis A, K, that is the uh, one in blue, the uh, extraction is lower than in those where we have a pressure applied and uh, uh, where is uh, the effect also of the uh, uh, disruption by the CO2. And uh, what I can uh, invite you to observe is this uh, apparently anomalous uh, behavior of the thesis D that is the one that from this point uh, to the end uh, uh, didn't have any pump pumping over. And it appears that uh, uh, the extraction was very early and after it reduces. But uh, uh, what we think is, and uh, uh, you can see that this behavior uh, due, uh, is also in uh, antigenins uh, and uh, in uh, uh, tannins. What we, come si fa a tornare indietro? Sorry. To, a tornare indietro, to, to. Sorry. And uh, the better extraction of uh, the thesis with the, uh, the pressure applied was all the, uh, the uh, A, B, C, uh, B, C, and D. And uh, what we think about the thesis D is that the problem is of on an homogenization uh, of the homogenization of the sample. And uh, uh, so uh, at the end, uh, uh, the extraction is better even in that. And it, this is confirmed by the analysis we made uh, at the end of uh, the fermentation when uh, uh, the sample is uh, uh, surely uh, homogeneous. And, uh, and the, uh, these are the results at the end of the fermentation uh, after the drawing off. What we see is that in all the thesis we confirmed that it is a better extraction when we have uh, the overpressure applied and uh, the extraction is higher with the higher pressure applied. And uh, we uh, noticed this behavior 
of the pigmented tannins, uh, also if we, we must notice that uh, the uh, values are still very, very low because uh, we are at uh, uh, the drawing off, so uh, very few tannins are uh, combinated, uh, few pigments are combinated, and the free anthocyanins uh, reflects with, uh, what, are, what is uh, the extraction of uh, wine total pigments. After the malolactic fermentation, the differences are uh, confirmed. So uh, what was extracted more is uh, still uh, uh, sta uh, stabilized. And we have wine total phenols that are higher and wine total tannins and wine total pigments. We must uh, observe, uh, and it is necessary also to, uh, after to uh, go in deep in it, because uh, we cannot at the moment uh, justify it, uh, that in the uh, thesis A, in the control, uh, where the pigments are lower, there is a higher uh, tendency to uh, be com uh, to combine uh, of the pigments. And the, the free antigenins uh, uh, also reflects uh, the, the different uh, content of uh, uh, antigenins. And this is, this is not so uh, easy maybe to explain, but this is the benchmarking uh, uh, analysis I was talking about. That is a, a, a possible uh, race to the uh, wine cloud. So uh, w w if we put our samples in the database that was made of 396 Sangiovese uh, of uh, uh, analyzed in that year, we can compare and we can see if uh, uh, total tannins or antigenins, for example, are in the uh, most frequent uh, or uh, uh, in the highest uh, uh, classes of Sangiovese. And uh, uh, what we see, uh, looking for example for our samples uh, taken after the malolactic fermentation, that are uh, the one in red, is that uh, I with the application of a higher pressure the, uh, the w w of thesis D, the, uh, our wine passes from a class that is not the more frequent uh, of the Sangiovese to a higher class. So we have a better uh, wine uh, or, or a wine that, that is collocated uh, in uh, uh, a higher class of Sangiovese, uh, uh, Tuscan Sangiovese. And it is uh, also more evident for uh, pigments because uh, after malolactic fermentation, uh, the uh, control uh, was uh, in one class that was a middle class, uh, and uh, the uh, application of uh, uh, the uh, pressure and the uh, DCF uh, system uh, allowed us uh, to, uh, to, to go on uh, on the step uh, of the uh, frequency of uh, the samples of Sangiovese, and uh, uh, we had uh, C and B post, uh, on this uh, uh, class of Sangiovese, and D that was the most, uh, uh, most uh, uh, the highest uh, pressure was uh, on a class uh, even higher. And in this way, we can see, for example, uh, that with uh, the application of a new technique, we can bring. Uh, uh, in the wine uh, uh, from a class uh, under the medium to one uh, in uh, uh, the medium of uh, between uh, uh, more quality wines. And so these are the conclusions. And uh, uh, with uh, this experiment trial, we, we have seen that the overpressure obtained with a, a DCF system, even if it was not a system developed to uh, obtain uh, more uh, colored or uh, to extract uh, the uh, red grapes better, uh, it, uh, it has an effect uh, on pigments and tannins extraction. And uh, with higher pressure, we have uh, uh, higher extraction. So setting differently the threshold uh, for uh, the valve, uh, we can have different results. We have also seen in our case uh, with a higher pressure 
in the central phase uh, uh, of the fermentation period uh, is effective uh, for the color and tannins extraction even without the application of pumping overs. Uh, and at the organolectical side, uh, we have observed that the wines obtained with the ADCF are more structured and fruity and with a higher elegance and ar aromatic complexity. And the perspective of the application of the system, we have learned uh, first that uh, it is necessary when we, that we are in a complex uh, uh, system and it is necessary to consider all the interaction between different processes. We were monitoring uh, a fermentation process uh, and we realized that there, were, there was an effect uh, on the extraction. So uh, it is necessary also to have the control and to have uh, uh, systems that uh, permits to uh, verify uh, all these interactions. And uh, uh, the benefit is also in short maceration as uh, we had seen that the benefits uh, were uh, in the first part uh, of uh, uh, the extraction. So it is possible maybe to reduce the times of uh, uh, maceration. And uh, uh, the technique works uh, uh, with CO2, so uh, preserves uh, uh, the uh, most uh, oxidizable is aroma and uh, is possible to uh, deliver the oxygen all in the phase of the fermentation when uh, uh, the uh, yeast really need it. And uh, uh, another uh, in the future of the development of the engineering uh, system, and it is uh, uh, for uh, uh, the colleague from Partec, uh, it, is, uh, it can be useful, the possibility to synchronize the moment of uh, uh, the release of the CO2 and the moment of the pumping overs to have a better irrigation uh, and the disruption of the cap. And so this is, uh, uh, I think, to be enough uh, clear, and uh, I thank you very much. Muchas, muchas gracias.